okay i know that this is long 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 overdue because quite a few people ask me how i did these how i normally get my hair to look like this and what do i use so i use something that is not unfamiliar that's not you know unfamiliar to people it's called pipe cleaners uh this is an example of a pipe cleaner let's see if i can get a plain a simple one uh this is yellow uh a little bit unprepared for this so excuse me this is a yellow this is a red pipe cleaner this is a yellow what I do because my locks are fairly heavy and I just have 64 of them I try to create um, rods to style the hair right so this is an example of what it looks like multicolored usually I use these if I know I'm going to take it out the next day or if I'm going to spend the weekend home without going anywhere but if I have to do, um, if I have to leave it in my hair for a little while, I'll usually use the brown, which is what you are seeing in the hair right here. The little ends will tell you that that is the pipe cleaner, not my hair. Uh, or I would use black ones that will blend in completely with the hair and you can't tell. Right? So this is a, an example of a multicolored one that I did. This is a, you know, Rasta inspired one that I would have done. And I usually use brown. So I'm going to show you now how I make them. All right? So I take three of the pipe cleaners, put them together like this, and start a braid or what we call in Trinidad a plait with it. So it's just a matter of weaving the rods, interweaving them like a plait, down to the end. All right. So this is how we do it here. You know, it, it's going to get bent while you're plaiting it. So you're going to have to, you know, every now and again straighten it out. If you want to make it easier, you can probably clamp it down to, to some surface like a book or the edge of a table or something like that. Or put a clothespin on the edge of it to keep it steady. Alright. And I will continue going down like this until the end, until it comes to the end. Alright. So just be a little patient with me as I finish this particular one, just to show you how I did it. Sorry about that. Alright, there we go. This thing don't want to stay put, sorry. That's my tablet. Deciding to do whatever it wants. <laughs> Alright. See, I'm almost done here with the braid. I'm going straight down. I'm using brown pipe cleaners for this particular one. This is the, the one I have right now. I haven't gotten some black ones in a little while. I have to check with Samaru's or another craft store to see if I get some more black ones to create some more black ones. So now I'm down to the end. I just flip it over so that I can control it a little better with my fingers. And as you get to the end where you can't really braid anymore, you just twist because it's a piece of wire in the middle of the, of the felt. And then bend it in. Do the same for the other side. And then bend it in like this. Now this is long. What you're seeing there is this same rod doubled over. So what I do now is I just bend it like this and then give a simple twist to make the rod a little bit more sturdy. Now you can, if you feel that the, the pieces of wire will poke you, you can wrap this with some, you know, floral tape or masking tape or something like that. It doesn't bother me too much because my hair usually covers it and it doesn't really poke me the way that I wrap my hair. So this is what I make to create these little spirals that you see in my hair right now. Okay, hope the tutorial helped a little bit. And I will probably post when I'm doing this style again, post a full style or I will just unravel one to show you how I'm going to do one. So thanks for watching. See you next time.